Keys Falap and Face has like an extremely important place in my life. I don't know why, but like something about the time I was going through with K-pop at that moment when his album came out, it just it holds a very, very, very special place in my heart. And every time it comes on shuffle, like any song from the album, I'm just like, this is peace. This is peace. This is happiness. And this is what Key has brought me. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel once again. And today we are here with Key with his solo song, Hate That, <laughs> featuring Taeyeon, Um, which is actually a very pleasant surprise. I did not know that Taeyeon was in this, so... We're over here for it. This is Hate That. Let's bring it up and let's hit play. Shout out to Mr. Keebum. What do you got for us? Looking gorgeous, as always. Got an interesting aspect ratio. Loving the acoustic sound. Oh. I like that sound. Like, sound. Ooh, this is an emotional masterpiece already, I can tell. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is like... Exactly face album vibes. So gorgeous. Why was she in Saudi Arabia? Or somewhere around there. Oh. Whoa. This is like... A little more powerful of a course than I thought we were going to get, and that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a song. I can't wait for Taeyeon's verse. Yeah. I feel like these are the two most powerful vocalists. Like, I- not- I don't know where I'm saying that, like, in general, or- I don't know, but... Take that as you will. I know there are a lot of great vocalists in K-pop, but I just feel like these are the ones for me, you know? Nobody makes me feel the same way that Taeyeon and Ki do. Oh, the harmony is so gorgeous. I wish I could pull off cotton candy hair. This is not a song to be dancing like this to, but... I wish I could also pull up platinum blonde hair. Oh, that is gorgeous imagery. Like the... The circle and flipped reflection thing. Very gorgeous. But now they're on the same side of the rock. Which is also interesting. Like, what kind of metaphor is that playing to? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, have we changed outfits too? Oh, such a vibe, this shot. I'm having a great time, if you couldn't tell. Dang, who stuck her out in the rain like that? <laughs> they were like, Key, you go sit inside at the table. She'll stand under the rain. Oh, wow. And to top it off with some rain sounds? Bro. I don't know why I got so excited for the rain sounds, but like, rain sounds? You know a song is amazing if they had rain sounds in there anywhere. Woman rescued after what? After being stranded on a rock. That was hate that. And I definitely did not hate that at all. I very much loved that. And we... Can you please not do that, Mr. Hare? Um, we obviously... Grammarly can't teach bro, things. I don't care about Grammarly. <laughs> I We obviously predicted that it would be a banger. And not, it's not even like a... Like, it is a banger. Like, it's a great song. But I don't know if I would call it a banger. I would call it, like, an emotional piece. You know what I mean? And that's the thing that I talk about a couple... Sometimes on this channel when I'm you know, cognitively a bit available to make any sort of connections. Um, I talk about art versus just music. And obviously music is art. And every song that's released is like, it's a form of art, obviously. But there's like a higher level in my head that I like, like that's art. 
You know what I mean? It feels like an art, a piece of art. And obviously, like, we're not hating on any other songs. I'm not saying that other songs are not art, because they are. But there's, like, a special level of, like, artistically... You know? <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? And this is this fits that category. It just feels... It feels right. It feels like something that was made to be perceived deeply. You know what I mean? Not just like a, here's a song, we're dancing, we're singing, and it sounds great, and the song is, you know, hype or whatever. It's like a, experience the emotions that I am giving, you know? Anyway, not important. But that's what it felt like. I We loved it. Thank you to Key and thank you to Taeon. Incredible as always. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Before the end of the video, I just wanted to ask you all to please check out the link at the top of the description. It leads to a card that I made that has a bunch of links to other cards that other people have made that contain a whole bunch of information about issues that are happening in the world right now that we can do something to change. At the very bottom of the list of cards, there are also two bigger cards that are similar to my card, but they have a lot more information. They're much more expansive. You should check them out as well. You can get even more information there. Checking out these cards and educating ourselves on these important issues is an extremely important part of being a compassionate human being who cares to see the world become a better place. Every single day, we should be looking for new ways to educate ourselves so that we can build that world that we want to see. These cards don't only help educate you, but they also help give you information on how you can spread the word and also how you can help by signing petitions or even donating directly. At the end of the day, every single person plays a role in making the world a better place and we can do it as long as we work together. Get out there, get educated, and keep learning new things every single day so that we can make that world happen. Peace out y'all, bye bye.